But we're all thinking about John McCain this morning, but I'll tell you, he is a force. I was in Vietnam with him last month. He will be back stronger than ever. We need to delay the vote until he gets here. We need all 50 votes. As you know, two senators have come out, Republicans have come out against it, as have all of the Democrats, and the senators that have come out against it have come out for different reasons. One saying it goes too far, the other saying it doesn't go far enough. We're working to get to 50 with the Mike Pence breaking the tie. We are committed to do it. It's an urgency to do it because the key word affordable isn't there under the Obama health care law. You mentioned the two Republican senators who have said that they will vote no. That's Rand Paul, who, as you mentioned, said it doesn't go far enough. Susan Collins, who thinks it uh, goes too far in terms of what it does uh, to, to Medicaid. But we also hear that there are eight to ten other senators who have some serious concerns. Where, where do you stand with, with that group of senators at this point? Well, we're working with closely with all of them. When you mentioned Medicaid, of course, that was a program initially designed to help low-income women, children, and the disabled. But with the Medicaid expansion under Obamacare, paying states bonuses for signing up able-bodied, working-aged individual, that made it a lot harder for those people who was initially designed for to get doctors. We now know that one out of three doctors won't take new Medicaid patients because there's so many people now that have been dumped onto Medicaid and not the people it was designed for initially. But Susan Collins' concerns have to do with those uh, things that you do think of the original uh, sort of mandate for Medicaid, and that is she's concerned about nursing homes not being able to function with this bill going through. She's concerned about rural hospitals no longer being able to operate. How, I, I understand your point that there are people on Medicaid that were never the people that this was intended to help, but how do you get to that same question that other senators are grappling with, was what will this mean in my state? Will I have hospitals that no longer can operate? Will I have nursing homes that no longer can operate? Will I have children who need this who will no longer be able to get the funds? Those are absolutely key concerns, and obviously coming from Wyoming where we have mostly rural hospitals, and I met with a number of hospital administrators over the last couple of weeks and over the, the 4th of July. Those are huge concerns. And, you know, Zeke Emanuel, who was the architect of Obamacare, uh, he was being interviewed today on NPR, and he's written a book about Obamacare. And he said, what we need, he said, we have 5,000 hospitals in the United States. And he said, 1,000 need to close. I mean, that's from his book. Well, those are rural hospitals. The 53 hospitals that closed already under Obamacare are rural hospitals because it made it that much harder for small community hospitals. At the same time, there's a report out this morning in Politico that the biggest hospitals and the American Hospital Association reports record profits from them. So Obamacare took it in the wrong direction, Becky. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.